Hey there fools, it's your boy T here, and I'm back again with another video. Just want to talk about what else the Nintendo Switch fools. Loving the console as always. You know, the way the console's doing so far and uh, the future looking pretty bright for the console. I was wondering, is there any possibility of this game system taking over my all-time favorite, which is the N64? Now I've given my reasons why why the Nintendo 64 is my all-time favorite console. If you want to go check out those videos, the Switch, uh, like I said before, really reminds me of the Nintendo 64 in a lot of ways. Sometimes it has uh, some of the what you would consider maybe negative things that happen with the N64, but also the positives. And one of the things that I loved about the Nintendo 64, very customizable nature. You know, uh, being a you know you got all those different colored consoles and you got all those different colored controllers and all you know stuff like that like i said uh in those days uh it was around the time i got my first job so i was buying a lot of n64 stuff along with my saturn and uh those two are my two top two favorite consoles of all time if you didn't know the saturn would be number two so you know it was just something about that time you know look at the great ips that you got look at the n64 and look at the switch and what you have here you got the groundbreaking zelda the game already out uh you got what looks like the big console defining super mario game coming out here with the uh, super mario odyssey coming out pretty soon it took two years after we got super mario 64 before we got legend of zelda ocarina of time and we're getting you know these two big major nintendo ips groundbreaking games at that in the first what seven months eight months that is just insane uh, for the console you could just imagine what's gonna happen next year i've already predicted uh myself i just want to go ahead and put it on record that i believe that metroid prime 4 will be next year's holiday title along with the pokemon game so uh and, you know animal crossing is probably out there i mean it's just looking really good for the nintendo switch and uh very similar things with the switch uh that are very similar to the n64 of things like the cartridges uh basically the early cartridge sizes for the n64 were pretty small i think there were eight megabytes um maybe and then 16 came out or something like that so it's very similar to where uh you have uh what is it i think it starts with two or something like that two megabytes or two gigabytes i should say megabytes <laughs> two gigabytes to um, 8 to 16 to 32 32 being the biggest one and likely the most expensive and you'll see a lot of uh third-party companies pretty much skipping out on that or trying to find ways around having to buy 32 big cartridges you know basically having you download stuff uh extra which uh nobody likes to do uh, but it's very similar to the N64 situation where you had small carts and you had a lot of third parties just kind of waiting before they got in on the N64 because the carts were too small to make the kind of games they wanted or uh, the bigger carts were just too expensive in, the, in that first year. So um, it's very similar. It's just kind of eerie how similar the N64 and uh, Nintendo Switch is at this moment. Uh, but I think the ceiling for the Nintendo Switch is much higher than the ceiling for N64, which I believe sold around uh, what 33 million consoles 34 something like that and I think the switch was gonna blow through that the ceiling for the switch will probably be somewhere around where the Wii was I think it's just gonna be that kind of success as long as they keep coming with the games and uh, you know stuff like that and Nintendo keeps bringing those IPs Nintendo has a plethora of IPs I think they're really gonna dive into them on the switch and uh, I just can't wait to see that happen so it's really a really good time to be a Nintendo fan fools it's really enjoyable uh, what we got coming and uh, you know even third parties are doing some cool things obviously uh, Bethesda's doing some really big things on the switch and uh, I was just looking forward to seeing what else is coming uh, you know, things like uh, NBA 2K18, it's kind of a weird situation. I've talked to my boys on the Juice is Loose podcast. We kind of talk off air. Uh, maybe we talked a little bit on air about this, too, uh, about the NBA 2K situation where you, you buy, you're downloading, you know, uh, most of the game because basically they couldn't fit the entire game 
on a cartridge where it was uh the price was going to be good I'm, I'm guessing that the 32-bit cartridge is obviously the way to go if you pay attention to what's happening with those it seems like the games uh are coming with a basically what is called a switch tax the games that are 32 gigabytes and up they want ten dollars more for it. so uh you know uh 2k they could have decided to sell nba 2k 18 at 70 dollars which nobody would have liked uh would have been an uproar about that or just you know have you download the game and i think just i just think it's like growing pains with the switch how to compress your your games to go on these consoles you gotta remember uh you know the games that come out on the on the uh, xbox and ps4 uh, those games are 40 gigs plus. It's it's really cool to see, uh, you know, these companies going a little extra to bring what they got. And obviously, there's going to be a little bit of growing pains. But I think by this time next year, this will be a distant memory. Um, it was kind of similar like that on the N64, where EA didn't really show up in the first year in N64 because it couldn't do what they wanted to on the cartridge sizes and the costs were too high. Uh, and the fees and all that stuff, the uh, licensing fees for Nintendo. So they waited. Uh, you know, that, that's kind of what's happening. Some growing pains. But even with all that, uh, like I said in a previous video, the Switch is doing pretty well. It's it's mostly positives about it, and uh, it's really good to see. So, uh, yeah, fools, let me know what you think. Uh, you know, the Switch, you, where you think the Switch will rank in your rankings. Um, at the end of the day, I think it's going to be a renaissance for Nintendo and uh, a renaissance for Nintendo fans, too. So uh, we just have to see what happens. So, yeah, fools, let me know what you think in the comments below, as always. And uh, thank you for watching and listening. And I'll see you, fools, next time. Peace out. Oh, yeah. One more thing. Play Nintendo, fools. Dude. <laughs>